so yeah i will be teaching all about or explaining all about definite kernels and mercer's theorem so first definition is non negative definite kernel definition okay a symmetric l2 kernel k of x comma t is said to be non negative definite if in a product of k phi comma phi is greater than or equal to 0 for every l2 function phi so this definition is for non negative definition okay what is non negative it will be something like 0 1 2 they all non negative right so next so it should uh, the inner product should be greater than or equal to 0 this k phi comma phi then you can say it is non negative definite kernel next is positive definite kernel now what is a positive definite kernel a symmetric l2 kernel k of x comma t is said to be positive definite if inner product of k phi comma phi is greater than or equal to 0 and inner product of k phi comma phi is equal to 0 implies phi is null third definition is non positive definite kernel a symmetric l2 kernel k of x comma t is said to be non positive definite if inner product k phi comma phi is less than or equal to 0 in positive definite it was greater than or equal to 0 here yeah. non positive it is less than or equal to 0 for every l2 function phi next is non definite oh, sorry negative definite kernel a symmetric l2 kernel k of x comma t is said to be negative definite if in a product k phi comma phi is less than or equal to 0 and in a product of k phi comma phi is equal to 0 implies phi is null next is indefinite kernel now what is indefinite kernel a symmetric kernel that does not fall into any of the above mentioned four type of kernel is known as indefinite kernel so this indefinite kernel is not falling in this four definition four defined or four definition of this kernels four type of kernel so it is not Uh, they mentioned in the four type of kernel so it is indefinite so this next next is mercer's theorem mercer's theorem however you pronounce it if a non null symmetric l2 kernel is quasi definite now what is a quasi definite when all but a when all but a finite number of eigen values are of one sign okay when all but a finite number of eigen values are of one sign that is quasi definite okay so for the uh, theorem the statement that is like this if a non null symmetric l2 kernel is quasi definite and continuous then the series summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity lambda n raised to power in inverse lambda n inverse is convergent and k of x comma t is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity phi of x into phi uh, bar of t upon lambda n so this is okay so this and this so my this series is convergent and this is kernel is equal to this next therefore you can say the series being uniformly and absolutely convergent So you can write it down, and the last is remark. Mercer's theorem use condition to extend bilinear form of infinite series, which is uniformly and absolutely convergent. So the video ends up here. In the next video, I will be will be of next topic, and these definitions are very important to solve the problems which I.